Good morning, saints. This is day four, and I am Jimmy Drayton. I will be reading Romans chapter five, verses three through five. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patient, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. One approach of the enemy is to place doubt in the hearts of those who want to make a change in their life. We need to acknowledge that all negative things that happen in our life are not evil. Many of the hardships we face in life are in fact tools supplied by God to help us grow. This life is not supposed to be trouble free. This life is a progressive growing process. The best way to think of life is like a trip to the gym to get into shape for all eternity. In order to be in the best shape possible for eternity, we need our personal trainer to challenge us with a difficult workout. The harder we work, the stronger we become. I recall a time when I did not feel heard and loved. I felt like I was on the back burner. And I really had to think about taking my problems in prayer because it was just becoming too painful to keep reliving hardships or things that were difficult um, and feeling dismissed. But I am grateful for each new day and I am grateful that God gives us all second chances and that we can focus and choose to focus our attention on making tomorrow better. So as we focus our attention on following God's plan for your life and my life, in good times and bad times, we turn to our most powerful weapon in the fight against evil, God's love shown through his word. The word of God will shield, protect, and guide us through the most difficult circumstances. When we are stuck in times of trouble and disrepair, we are the most vulnerable to the devil's attacks. Therefore, we need encouragement we must encourage each other and we must encourage ourselves. And we need the power from the word of God to be victorious. I challenge you saints today to be a witness for Jesus regardless of personal tests you face. We all have challenges. The difference is the resource. We have to apply the resources that we have to solve these challenges and let the Lord do the rest. People need to see true examples of believers living in this world, problems and all successfully for Jesus. The time is now, use this season, your season of testing and trials as a witness to God's power to keep and protect. God bless you and continue to give you strength and opportunities to witness and be a witness for Christ. Amen.